Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in this video, I'm going to be doing basically kind of like in a tutorial of how to beat Monty. This boss fight is scary because he randomly jumps out of nowhere. So, I'm going to be giving a full tutorial basically on how to beat this menace. So in this part, we're going to want to turn around and sprint the other way because he will come chasing after us at first. But once you get far enough apart, he will turn around and sprint the other way. His animation is really goofy. But yeah, I turn around to see if he's there. No one's there. And basically, you want to shoot the balls under the buckets. And then if it makes that noise, you're successfully getting the balls in. Me, it was kind of hard because I have really high sensitivity on controller since this was recorded on the Xbox. See here, what you want to do is wait for him to get down. I did this stupid thing. See, he runs away, but like, if he does that and comes sprinting towards you, you want to go the opposite direction Direction of him, obviously. And whenever he jumps like that, I was stupid and decided to stay where I'm at. Most of the time, he will jump right on top of you, so you want to just move the other direction. As you can see there, he's coming for me and turns around. So sometimes if you're far enough away, he will turn around and ignore you. Sometimes he will jump on top of you, so you will have to be careful of that. Also, sometimes I would be confused because you will not see him, but he will see you and will not go after you, so be very aware of that. Here was the part I was talking about where I messed up terribly. He walks. I run the other direction. Knowing he was right there, I still tried to go for it, and I lost. Back in it with attempt number two. We are now second in. But I do not watch the cutscene because I don't know why, to be honest. At this point, he's still following me really fast. And then runs away. Once again, I'm pretty sure it's rather 25 or 30 balls you need to shoot into this bucket thingy. But yeah. Comes after me, I juke his ankles. I mean, it's Monty. Of course, we need to juke his ankles. This corner is your worst enemy, but this one shooter is your best friend. It is perfectly on point until, of course, it breaks because so you do too much. Now, you want to come around here, 
And this is honestly the best path. Do that, come back to this, go back to the other one. I was just crouching down to check to see if he actually saw me or not. I come back and then keep shooting. But I needed to aim the gun a little bit higher. I only got one out of all of those, which is not very good. What was that? And here, our thing has been updated. Monty's claws, once you see that, immediately sprint towards the button. You do not have to press the button, you have to walk near it and the animation will cut. <laughs> and I skipped a cutscene because my game was close to crashing. But yeah, you come here, collect claws, and then Go back to parts and service. Then once you're back at parts and service, you just put these back on Freddy and you are all good to go. Just looking for any collectibles. This is my first FNAF video, so if you guys enjoy this, make sure to like and subscribe because I enjoy playing this game. And if I get enough views on this video, then I might just do a whole playthrough if you guys want to see that. So let me know down in the comments below. In here, here's when you'd most likely want to call Freddy. He's going to pop out of nowhere. And I recommend going inside of him for most of the time you're in this place. Because Monty, before you kill him, is a menace. And yeah, this is how to beat Monty. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And maybe consider, you know, checking out some of my other videos. If you guys like this FNAF stuff enough, I guess I'll make more of it. So if you guys want to see that, like, subscribe, and peace out.